I'm feeling effing fantastic. I was just about to go to the gym. But the sun came out, so I figured why not charge up real quick. So that's what I did today. I'm super excited because I realized I should do some sprints. And what I mean by that is I haven't been having sprints on my mind lately because my hamstring was messed up, but now that's healthy and also just a lot of force on my knee. But now I'm all healthy. Everything's feeling great. And it also feels like the perfect activity for what I need because as you know, if you've been watching, I've been trying to get over that mental block of running and it be being fully explosive on my injured knee. It's not really injured. Jumper's knee, you get the point. But sprinting is just a very safe way to do something that's super elastic and kind of get that stimulus. I don't want to do one foot jumping, which is what I need sort of for my tendon, but it's just way too much force for my tendon right now. But sprinting is, is more unilateral. It's one foot at a time and it feels exactly what I need. And I'm still not going to go 100% all out on sprints because I don't want to go from not sprinting to just doing that. But I'll probably do like 75, 80% and just get that ball rolling and really get my elastic training going all the way. Uh, I might do a little bit of jumping to warm up, like some dynamic warm up, of course, but then also maybe a little bit of dunking because it's a low rim. Keep my mindset on attacking the rim and get my footwork hammered home. And just having that mindset of light jumping and having no goals with jumping is a great way to kind of ease into it and maybe have a great day footwork wise and just really get those reps in. And other than that, super pumped to sprint. And also I might do a little bit of jump squats just to feel a little bit of power because I'm feeling the most shredded ever, which is the best. My body feels like it's the healthiest it's ever been, but I also feel like so shredded that I'm almost like light. Like I want to feel a little bit more power. That might be a mental thing. So I might do some jump squats to just feel like I'm maintaining my strength. Either, even though I kind of know now that I'm not really losing strength, uh, I just want to kind of feel that stimulus a little bit. But we'll see how I feel at the gym. If I jump really well and I feel powerful while I'm jumping, everything's good. Dunk life, we uh, out here and we're dunking. I just gotta work and you know I'm doing that Never stop, never stop, always on attack Locked in the path, never getting off track Whatever I lack, add it to my bag And I got plenty more where that came from And my price is right, I never change But I don't get it done, get it done right And that's every day, that's your life Ooh. Touch the rim, still a little hesitant, still a little weird, but we're getting over it. That jump actually felt great. You know, just a drop step. I uh, pushed solid off my left leg, no fear, no nothing. Confidence is building, I'm feeling great. Quick tip, dunk in between games. Get warm during the game as much as you can. Second they finish playing, you get the court to yourself for that solid three minutes. Super solid, felt like I pushed off both completely equal and really hard. And just like mentally, I'm feeling there. Let's go. Still keeping it super gradual though, because uh, I don't want to jump stages. I don't want to go from warm up jumps to max jumps, but uh, feeling really good. And uh, I'm actually just cramping because I think I'm dehydrated, but feeling great. I think I'm about to fly. I'm not even supposed to jump today, so uh, bonus, baby. Bonus. I'm getting too hyped. I gotta cool out. I haven't been in front of people in a while, so I just went for one and I'm out of breath. But I really want to bang one in front of people. God, it's been a while. Okay, okay. I let the hype get to me. Their intermission between games is like literally a minute and they checked on this side. So I had no time. I had no time whatsoever. Also, another tip. Cheer for the team that's going this way because if they make a bucket, it slows the game down. It's not back and forth. So you want to cheer for this side. The second the shot goes up, Start going in your position. Second it goes in, you're lined up. There it is. Okay. That's 
how you know you're feeling it. That was off balance. I'm jumping a lot of my right and landing a lot of my right. As soon as this game over, hardest dunk I've had all year. It's not that many months, but it's been, you know, yeah, I'm just saying. Is that game? Yeah, I went for it. I'll take it. That ball was far. I haven't gone off like that in a while. Shout out to AirPods. I don't know how they're staying in, but it's keeping me hype. Not that I need more hype. Hey! I'm hanging on the rim, I don't know why, I'm just trying to bang it. That was way up there. I'm happy I went for it and made it, but I still was like 90%. I didn't go crazy hard. It's, it's weird. I might, it might look good, but I'm happy with the progress by all means. But I mean, I want to bang that, you know. Hey, let's get that windmill back today. Smashed it on the rim this way, not like on top of it, so it just didn't move at all. It hurt! Super easy. I said to myself, slow it down, keep it more controlled. Just make the dunk with good footwork, that's what I did. Obviously not satisfied, I want to freaking bang it, but I'll take it today, I'll take it, aka decent. I have a much harder time mentally going off the dribble because it's a lot more force on my leg and my footwork's worse. Footwork is worse. My footwork is worse. So I'm just more fearful of it. But definitely making good progress and have a great mindset during these sessions. I think I'm done for today. Um, I don't know. All right, so fantastic session. Wasn't even planning on really jumping today, but like I said, felt too good. Everything feels great. And I'm obviously pushing it, but not pushing it more than I think I can handle. And uh, one sec. Yeah, my legs feel really great. Uh, definitely got a little too hype and a little bit too fast. But, I, but I, I kept it gradual. I was conscious of that. So I was able to adjust my jumping and go back to being controlled and really focus on my footwork so I can keep building on it. Because if I go too hard and overdo it, overdo it, I'm going to build a bad habit like I, I've done all these years. So feeling really good. Dribble dunks have a long way to go. Uh, lob dunks feeling great, but I have to just get more in tune and get a little bit more practice going, but everything's feeling great. Probably a couple sprints and we out of here. Yeah, since I jumped so much this week or today, I'm probably gonna hold off just like I did this past week and just test how my body feels because it's really adapting well to this now. I feel like I'm primed and ready for this elastic phase. And uh, as soon as I start jumping well, measure my vert a little bit, try to hit my head on the backboard of 10 feet, which would be like 43 inches about, and see if I can get a little higher and then right back to strength getting ready for dunk camp in like three months, two and a half months. It's coming up quick, and uh, I just want to prime for that. Yo, did so much jumping today that those two half-ass sprints, I think it's enough. I can feel my left hamstring from jumping. I haven't put that much load on it in a while, so uh, definitely gonna stretch out, take care of my body, body love for these next couple days. But feeling freaking good. So happy to be jumping. So happy to be getting over it mentally and feeling that adrenaline and that hype and that unconscious takeoff. I'm feeling, whew, it's coming bro, it's coming. New heights, new levels, dunk life, you know it. <laughs>
Yo, so really feeling it in my hamstring already. It feels like super tight and like painful already. But uh, so definitely gonna take really close care of it these next couple days. Might have done a little bit too much, but I got way too hype. It's that was like six months of energy built up into one day. But uh, it feels okay. Uh, I stretched it out as much as I could gently, and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. And if I need to take some time for body love, I I know now from all these years of training with my car that um, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna lose my gains. I'm gonna hold on to them. So that gives me a little bit more patience. But just stay on your grind. Find your car. Oh, and. Uh, and that's it, and just uh, stay in tune with your body. That's the best advice I can give. Stay patient and keep working, because it does, oh my God, he almost hit that car. Um, it doesn't really matter when the gains come as long as the gains come eventually. You don't want to never make progress like me, I did for five years. You get the point. Gang, gang, dunk life, we out here, you know it. Yeah.